Hey team, I'm Josh, and in this video we'll be looking at how to warm out your TV in 10 easy steps. This is the exact method that I use as a professional TV installer, so let's get to it. Now the tools that we'll need to get the job done are a Phillips head screwdriver, tape measure, drill and drill bits, socket set, masking tape, a level and a stud finder. I'll leave links down below to the tools that I use in this video. Now the three main bracket types are fixed, tilt and cantilever, which is also known as full motion. The fixed is the most common. It's just a flat mount and it keeps your TV the closest to the wall. In my opinion, it looks the best out of the three, but it doesn't give you any functionality of being able to move it around. The tilt mount is an ideal bracket for mounting your TV in the bedroom. You're able to bring the top of the TV out a little bit off the wall and it gives you a really good viewing experience from your bed. I don't recommend it so much for the lounge unless you need to mount the TV really high because it doesn't look as good as just having the TV flat on the wall. The cantilever bracket is also another really great option if you're wanting to pull the TV out off the wall to get a good viewing angle from all the way around the room. I find the Sanus brackets the easiest to mount as they give you some leveling options once the TV's on so that if it's out of kilter a little bit, you can screw one side up and it levels it out perfectly. I do understand they are a lot more expensive than other options, so I'll leave a few different brands down below for you to check out. Pretty much all TVs and monitors these days come with a standardized mounting system. Here we've got four screw holes that we can use to mount these two arms to the back of the TV. When finding the right position for these arms, First of all, try and see if you can mount them in the middle of the TV so you give even spacing top and bottom, which allows you a little bit of wiggle room to move the TV up or down later on. The other thing to think about is whether the plate's gonna be sitting over any HDMI ports that you've got sticking out the back of the TV. If that's the case, then you can use the plastic spacers that come with your bracket to space the arms off, which gives you a little bit of room to plug the HDMI cables in. If your TV has the ports either sticking down or out to the side, then you can just screw the arms directly to the TV. Now either using a power drill or a Phillips head screwdriver, you can use the included screws to fasten the arms to the back of the TV. If you're using a drill, make sure you set it to a low power speed and turn on the limiter so you don't cross thread or strip the screw. When you screw it in, make sure you lift up the arms while you're doing it so that it keeps them both level and it doesn't allow the TV to get unlevel over time. Before you go stud finding, make sure you have a rough idea of where you want to put the TV on the wall. For the most part, you'd probably want to center it, but that may change based on where your furniture is. And say you have a curtain next to the TV, this could create a false wall, so I'd measure from the edge of the curtain to the other side of the TV. If you guys are finding value in this video, please smash like, I really appreciate it. Now it's time to find some studs. The first place to look is to see if there's any power outlets in the area you're wanting to put the TV. It's a good place to start as there's generally a stud either left or right of that as that's where they fix the flush box to. You can always double check this by pulling the plate off and having a look inside. Now the next thing to do is use a stud finder like this one. This particular model is a center finding stud finder so it will pick out where the center of the stud is as opposed to just the edges. Some cheaper models will just find the edges of the stud so make sure you mark it out and then put the screw right in the center. To use a stud finder, first of all, put it flat on the wall, hold down the button and then slide it along. Once it finds a stud, it'll flash red. Take a piece of masking tape and mark out where that stud is. Another helpful tool is to know that studs are generally either 400 or 600 mils apart. That's 16 or 24 inches for those in the States. Once you find the first stud, you can use that measurement to get a rough idea of where the next stud is. I like to put my tape vertically for a stud and horizontally for a nog. This way I don't get confused. If you only find one stud in the area you want to put the bracket, then you can use jib locks or snap toggles to fix the other side. Now we have to decide what height you want the TV mounted at. There's two major factors that come into play. The type of couch you have, whether you sit upright or more reclined, as well as the distance you sit away from the TV. The way I like to do it is take the height of the TV on the measuring tape, put your thumb in the middle and then put it on the wall. From there, you can get everyone's opinion on whether they want it higher or lower. And once you find a happy medium, mark the top of the TV with a piece of tape. This is our reference point we'll use to make our first hole. If you haven't thought about it already, a soundbar is a great addition to your TV. 
It gives you far better sound than what your TV will output and it's really simple to use. If you're thinking of getting one, then take into account maybe mounting it under the TV. Here's a video on how to mount your soundbar. To figure out the point where we're gonna make our first hole, we need to take a measurement from the top of the TV to the top hole of the bracket. To get an accurate measurement, put the tape measure behind the plate and look through the hole so you can see what the measurement is. Once we've got this measurement, we can go back to the wall to mount the bracket. Use the top down mark and drill our first pilot hole. Use a 3mm drill bit first as we just want to make sure there's actually a stud there. If you have a friend to hold the bracket then that's helpful, otherwise just put the screw through the bracket and start screwing it in. Use your level to make the bracket straight and make sure it's over the other stud. Drill pilot holes for the other three screws and screw them in. If you need to use jib locks then make pilot holes anyway as you might find there's actually a stud behind there. Push the bracket out of the way or remove it completely. Jib locks or snap toggles require a 13mm hole size, so use the bracket box or dustpan to catch all the jib. It will save your vacuum cleaner filter. Now you can fit the snap toggles or jib locks and screw the bracket back onto the wall. Before we put the TV on the wall, make sure you run all of the cables you need to either through the wall or at least plug them into the TV and cable manage them to the middle. This will make it so much easier once the TV's up as all of the cables will already be sorted. With cantilever brackets, it's easier to do the cable management once the TV's on the wall. Now you can lift the TV onto the wall. I'd suggest getting a helper for this, as most TVs are heavy and it will make your life so much easier. Once on, slide it into the desired location and lock the bracket in with the supplied screws. To add the finishing touches, make sure the TV's level. If it's not, you can slowly drop one of the arms a little bit at a time. This may take a few tries to get it straight. If you can't feed the cables through the wall, then just run some capping down it. It's super cheap from any hardware store, and because it's white, you can paint it whatever color you want. So that's it. You've now got your TV on the wall. You can sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you have any questions about mounting your TV, please ask them down in the comments. If you found this video helpful, I've got some other cool videos coming out soon on TVs, soundbars, and other accessories. So please subscribe so you don't miss when those come out. That's all from me, see you guys soon.